It's the final day on the ranch, and wow, it's been a journey. We got lots to do, things to collect, wrap it on up, and make it look pretty for the new owners. So it's uh, it's been a long time coming, but we're moving off back home to Canada, and I couldn't be more excited. So we got one last harvest. Let's do it. This is episode 150, The Oak Mountain. What's going on, everyone? It's Dirty Randy here, and well episode 150 oh my god we made it what a journey it's been uh as you can see we ordered a new truck and uh it has arrived added to the fleet and i think i did a little bit of a count you know as far as trucks go we've got like two f-150s you know there's the one work truck in the back there and then this guy and then there's the 250 the big blue boy with the the dooleys and uh uh, this guy, sorry, he's a, a 250 as well, um, and then we have both of the 350s actually are up at the other farmyard at the moment, and then we of course have uh, the 450 right here, so we only got one of those, but uh, we've really just added to our fleet, and I guess supposedly, technically, we do have three F-150s if you include the Raptor, so we're going to fire this guy up, oh, she feels good, she's got the camper bed on the back, and plenty of power to get her done. So uh, we are gonna go feed our cows for what could be the last time on the ranch here. We're really just wrapping everything up and uh, getting it to a spot where, you know, a uh, prospective buyer is gonna be more than happy. I mean, they will be for sure. This place is popping compared to what it used to be. So that is uh, not a problem. We have so much land, everything you could ever want for, ever want for I don't know what I'm saying there ever want or need and uh, it's all just operational it's pretty much plug and play at the moment so whatever water's left in here can get going still roughly 40 percent or so so nothing to worry about too much we got plenty in here Hank excuse me Kyle love this view I'm gonna miss this view right here it's gorgeous all right, they got all they need, and there's still 30% left in here. I'm just going to pull it up right here. Give it a little park. Make sure our lights are turned off. This tractor's looking good. All right, getting filled up in here, and uh, this has been... An amazing addition to the farm one of the best ones yet I would say with how much animals and mix we're going through on a regular basis that has definitely made our lives so much easier and you know have a peek at uh, the intakes too they're just mm, all ready to go and there's still a hundred and fifty thousand or so liters that is left pre-made at the moment which is more than enough for a couple months for the animals so that is all good and uh, you know what, maybe maybe the, the land doesn't even sell and uh, we end up just leaving it in the, the steady hands of the farm hands, you know, They're, they can run the place and uh, well, maybe we'll be back someday, who knows. But we'll park this guy up, we'll try and squeeze him up here, get a little bit of room, that way we can get our other tractor in here for the straw. Ride him, cowboy. Well, all right. There she goes. Uh, our cow tractor's getting put away. And, uh, well, feels good. Feels good. There you go. Close that up. Got all of our slurry stuff over here. And our hydro trike absolute unit of a uh, machine. Uh, I quite enjoyed using that. We didn't have it for too long, but... The times we did, it was uh, it was the best time I had spreading poop. Except for maybe the manure. Honestly, that was a good... I quite like this addition, too. You know? It's weird feeling kind of sentimental about this equipment. But, I do. The ranch just looks good right now. Honestly. I like this tree in the middle. The bridges. Everything's accessible. It's just a fun time, you know? And, uh, well, you know what? Wouldn't be much of a ranch if we didn't ride the horses. 
one more time, you know, I wish we could have uh, perhaps dove a little bit more into them, but uh, way she goes, I guess, you know, what can you do? Wow, wow, you still got the hops, buds. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna go for a little ride, okay? Oh, it feels nice. Oh, that noise going over the bridge? That's satisfying. All right, well, is this our maximum gallop speed? It appears she may be. You know, as she goes out here, I've heard, you know, those antlers we've been uh, collecting. There's supposedly a couple more out there that we haven't found. I don't know exactly if we've got all of them yet. I know, I know we don't have all of them just yet, but that is the noise right there. I remember hearing one here, and, uh, well, I know what that means now. So, took a lovely little ride over here, and there she be. Oh yeah, I remember hearing that noise driving by when we were uh, dealing some contracts on this field years ago, and um, I just oblivious to it, to be honest with you. And this whole project took a lot longer than I ever expected. I think it had, yeah, like a little island in the middle there, and we were dealing with that. And, you know, we didn't exactly have the biggest machinery to take on this size of field, but we did it anyways. And uh, you know what we had to do? What we had to do at the time to get her done so I will take that any day of the week you know uh, got us to the position that we're in now look at that all right we're gonna get back up to speed here and uh, you know make our way back uh, I think there is maybe one or two more of those to collect so that would be nice I think considering it is our last month out here. It's only fitting if we uh, try and find the last of them, you know what I'm saying? And you know what? We're on a horse. We're not going to ruin these crops. I ain't care. Sue me, son. We're going through the field. We're heading back to the ranch. She's leaving a dust trail. She's going so fast. She's kicking up the dirt. Oh, yeah, baby. Get it. Get it. I think I named you Pepper. Oh, that's a fence. All right. We're going to try that again. Cool man jump. I think I named you Pepper. Yeah. Look at that. Good job, Pepper. Cutting our way through the forest today. It's going to happen again. Are you guys ready? The best noise in the world. All right. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna be quiet. Are you ready? I, I don't know if it was as cool with going a little bit slower. So we're gonna do it again. But this time, with a nice little trot. Ready? Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay, and we'll do it one more time. At high speed, full gallop. Let's go. Spang a Yui. And we're doing it. Absolute flying high speed pass. Mach 1. Breaking the sound barrier. Slowing her down. Whoa! Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's a box. I'm gonna defeat this box because we have big tires. Huh. That's right. Take that box. All right, we're looking for that last antler here, and you know what? We've pretty well scoured the map, and there, we've been almost everywhere except for the clear cut up here that I can think of. We considered buying this place, but we went with uh, the land with all the burnt down trees instead, and I think that was a great choice. You know, we really changed the landscape there. Whoa, for the better. That's why she's an off-road truck. She's meant to roll. And what I say when I bought it? 100% uh, 
it's gonna roll. It's the lifted truck, and we're just heading it. Anyways, we haven't really gone down here, I don't think. Uh, it's kind of, well, it, uh, a little bit closer, is it? I, it's tough to tell, because, you know, by the time we would have turned right and just kind of gone up the hill and made a left, I feel like we would have been there by now, whereas this clear cut really up there and uh, would be quite the trail to get equipment up here as well as uh, trucks just to get all the logs out. So, I mean, this is a nice area though, for sure. It's definitely been clear cut already. I mean, that's another reason why I didn't want to take it. We've got way more bang for our buck in what we bought, but I gotta think it's around here somewhere. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm gonna drive around, listen for the call of the elk, and uh, go from there. I mean, like I said, I think we've really gotten them everywhere else. We got one near the helicopter tour place, out on the far side of the map, one at the sawmill, uh, one by our kind of tree area there, one by the ranch, the one we just picked up, one by the church we got the other day. Uh, but we haven't gotten anything from up here. Oh! The call of the elk. Alright, we shut down the truck because I think this might be our last one. I mean, look at that view. That's gorgeous as well. But, uh, alright, well, hey. Let's do it. Gimme! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, statistics are telling me we have 14 out of 15, so there's one more left. And um, I might know where it is roughly. I think I remember there being one along the river that I heard when we were going to uh, investigate that old mine shaft and uh, while well, just driving around there, kind of <laughs> willy-nilly uh, taking the wrong road. Whoa, okay, we don't want to fly off the cliff. All right, we barreled it into the side, thankfully, and kind of saved ourselves until we goosed it out of there and oversteered into the cliff again. But we'll be all right. We'll, we'll, we'll get there in one piece. Listen for the call of the elk. Oh. I started to hear something. We were flying, but I started to hear something. I swear. Is that is that it right in front of us? Oh my god. On the other side of the fence! You crazy son of a bee, Randy! You did it! Let's pick this up. Oh! You have found all of the antler sheds in the area. Go into town and check out your hard work. Wait, what? Go into town and check out my hard work? What? Well, I guess we gotta go back into town and check out my hard work. I didn't know about that. Ah all right, we can go this way and take this little bridge, which we never really get to do. I think we've done it once or twice, but goes and we know better than to goose it over the bridge because there's usually a little bump or two and you will end up in the wet not what we want all right not what we want hey where's that that doesn't look like it goes anywhere i thought that was a trail okay we're going this way we look both ways okay we're good stop signs just a suggestion you know we got money to pay for it although we don't have nearly as much money as we used to uh, we did spend like eight nine million plus uh, on more wind turbines and some uh, new equipment actually that we are gonna check out today all right what am I looking for here folks if you know let me know hopefully it's not too late but 
what 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 are we looking for just said head into town I would think that meant the shop you know but I don't see anything here interesting okay all right that was always there that big elk I can't imagine it's further back at the flour mill or really even on this back road I mean I would think it'd be by the gold pawn shop or the shop shop which we just checked the shop shop I didn't see anything too crazy all right uh, we're gonna dip this way a nice little red suburban handiwork there no one wanted to buy the Civic but uh, I don't really blame them to be honest all right nothing in here what are we looking for you got me all excited for nothing okay nothing here biff it over the wall with the big tires as we do, that's why we got them. I really, I don't see anything. Hmm. Well, I feel like I not only let myself down, but I let you down. I didn't let myself down. I just feel disappointed because I was like excited. And now I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I suppose we haven't really checked everywhere, but like, what else would there be to look at, you know? I don't know. Um, goose it past this guy. DRS him down the straight, through the bridge. Nothing over here? I don't see why there would be. It's set in town. I don't know. We're going to take one more little look ski, but then we got to get to harvesting. Uh, we've collected all the collectibles, so what more do you want there? That's amazing. Great way to wrap up the series. And, uh, well, you know we can't finish it without another harvest. So that's, uh, that's what's on the agenda. Our big new oat field up there is ready to rock. And uh, we got not one but uh, two combines up there ready to roll. So that is fantastic. All right, I... I don't know. I'm not seeing anything, you know. So I think we're just gonna get to it, and uh, is what it is. I did that on purpose for the police officer. He can deal with it, and we're racing away. Catch me if you can, son. Yeah, that's right. All right, we're goosing it all the way. To the other farm up this hill is gonna be a son of a bee but we got this all right you know what we're gonna do we're gonna send it landed on our feet like I knew we would but now we're in this field not quite where I wanted to be because uh, I don't think there's a way out of this field up top I think this is the only entrance and exit, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, but we're back where we were earlier. Oh my, that's a bigger bump than I expected. But we're back on our feet, no problem. Okay, can we get up here? There's no fence right here. What's this? Okay, but now... Now we're just in another fenced-in field. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, we can looks like go right here so that works okay well there she goes uh, we just need to scoot around past the slaughterhouse here I suppose we could have scooted in there but no harm and go in this direction too we'll take the less sketchy of the two bridges wonderful wonderful alright and we made it alright we got everything set up here last month, and uh, we're ready to roll. As you can see, 
both of the 350s, like I was saying this morning, are up here, as well as a lot of equipment to get the job done. We're going to pull up right there. We're looking good, but uh, yeah, here's the uh, <coughs> more of the 350 King Ranch, I'd like to think. It's not a King Ranch, but I'd like to think it is. Um, and uh, yeah, just our old F-350 that we've had from the start both towing up the uh, the header trailers. This is a new purchase. This was $400,000, and I believe the only John Deere variant that we don't have or haven't had yet. Um, I figured why not just add it to the fleet. We brought up the uh, Bergman Auger wagon just to help out with uh, unloading and such on the field, as well as we got our old Mack truck here, too. I think this is our uh, original one that we've had since the beginning, and uh, of course a big old trailer. And we got our big combine up in here to run that uh, I think we're going to be in that today. And uh, we got a new one as well that we're going to be leaving up here because we only have one. We have a few different locations with fields and uh, they're pretty far apart through some windy roads. So it's kind of a pain. But this guy can stay up here and uh, it should be no problem. So this is all brand new and uh, ideal. All right, well, we got uh, got some help out, of course. It's not like we can run both combines at the same time. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be starting off kind of in the middle of the field, roughly. And then uh, we're going to be just starting off on the headland, and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. But I think we're just going to get at least the trucks and tractors pulled out, everything ready to go before we hop in the combine, and then uh, we're going to tackle this thing. It should be fun. Dirty Randy Mack truck. You know we gotta use the Mack. Come on, baby. Um, I feel like I should have put this on the other side. Or the, the other tractor on the other way, but that's fine. We'll be alright. I'm not too worried about it. Those guys are ready to go whenever we need them. They can idle. I'm fine with that. Whoa, doggy. This is the big boy. Let's get them unfolded and ready to go. We gotta carve a little trail into the field. That way we can get something in there to unload as well. So we're gonna start off by doing just that.
All right, coming in on our last harvest on this field. Wow, uh, amazing. There's a whole lot of straw in here. There's a whole lot of bales. Probably, I would estimate at least six figures worth of just straw laying here. If not, uh, well, that could be more than six figures, but it could be like high six figures. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that's uh, it's a huge job to get done. That certainly, uh, there's not time to do all of that today, but I mean, it's looking good out here. Yeah, a little bit of an or unorthodox harvest, but uh, a great one nonetheless. So let's pipe out, get the rest of this in here. If we can fit all of this in the truck, that would be absolutely amazing. So, uh, I mean, I don't think we can, to be fair. But uh, we can probably get this guy packed away. She wish I get one, lads. Um, oh, where are we even going with this? Um, will it fit in here? That would be pretty swaggy. If it could, let's give it a shot. It's a long boy. There we go. It's a big overswing, but that's okay. The wheels turn a little bit too, which always kind of messes with me. All right, that's pretty decent, I would say. Look at that. Wonderful. That is all done. We can probably park this tractor up here, although it should really get to the barn. It will at some point. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Wonderful. And you know what? We were down a tractor up here because we did have the vent um, up here. Now that's down doing some cow work. So that is uh, that. Is that. Good timing for this guy. It was literally just right over here finishing up. So I don't know how much grain he's got in there, but hopefully it can fit. That would be pretty cool. Oh, and the fact that it's emptying means that our other combine there emptied out. But oh, there was just the slightest bit left over that we'll have to throw just in here like so and then we can drop the header piece onto the trailer right there no problem and uh, the, yeah this guy he's gonna stay up here he did a great job motored through that a smaller uh, header than the John Deere we were using there but he got it done no problem um, and this is a bigger field than I think any of our others but it's also uh, just one big field, whereas down at the ranch there, we've got tons of just, tons of, of not even small fields, tons of medium to large size fields, um, but a few of them. So having the bigger combine down there, I think, makes probably the most sense. And, uh, well, you kind of got to go one way or the other around here to get out. Uh, there's no, there's no easy out of this field right through the middle there, but what can you do? Looks like there's probably some some more chicken left over there, so that's something we could sell if uh, if we did want to get to that. But it looks like the sun, well, it's still up there. You know what? It's not quite horizontal yet, so I think we're looking pretty good on time. But the long shadows are starting to come into effect there. All right, this guy squeezed in here like a glove. You love to see it. 19. Does that stand for 9 tons? Because I feel like it's probably weighs more than that. I don't know. Could be wrong. Maybe that's how much it holds. Alright. Well, there's your home, buddy. Now is, uh, well, it's it do be clean in time. And you know what? I guess I was going to take the roads like a smart man, but. We can kind of take the back road here. I was going to say we can also shoot across the field. However, well, I feel like the straw might send our header piece for a little ride. So we're just going to send it down here, down the dirt road, along the edge of the field here. There's just so much land in this area. Oh, and I forgot how nice this truck tows. Oh, I missed it so much. And it just looks so clean with the white wheels. The two-tone, the nice brown color, all the chicken lights. Oh yeah, boy. A little hung up on the header piece there, but we're good. Don't worry about it. And hey, this one's not as long as the John Deere one. So 
we were able to fit that one just behind the shed. Are we going to be able to do it with this one? I was going to take it around back, and I guess I kind of goofed. I'm not going to be able to back that up like that. So we're going to try this direction. Oh, look at that. Just shredding the nar nar. The side of the hedgies. All right. Power, speed, momentum. That's the, that's the way. Here we go. Stoink right there. That is awesome. Uh, you know what? This truck as well. She may just go over here. We'll uh, have to round up all of our vehicles at some point. <laughs> Honestly, just go grab a flatbed and round up all of our trucks. But for now, he can hang out at Lucille's. Lou's, as we like to call him. Everyone loves Lou's. All right, we can shut down that. Oh, boy, she's looking good. I'm going to miss you, Lou's. We'll be back someday. Don't worry about it. All right, well, pipe in. Now we can get this guy put away since we have access to this trailer. Wonderful. Try and center it the best we can. That'll do, donks. That'll do. All right. And this combine, he's going to hang out here for the evening. We will, like I said, do some uh, rescue missions at some point and come collect all of our goods. Uh, all right, let's deal with our grain. Nothing fancy. We're just dropping it off here. Bunch of oats that uh, we have ready to bring down to the grain mill whenever they're done with uh, the wheat because I think they can only really do a couple. They could do lots at once, but we just don't have the staff to do that much, and they're almost done with the wheat harvest. When they are, we can uh, we can fill in with our oats there, so that is ready to go as well. 110,000 liters just in the truck here and another couple thousand, so, you know, call it 115 to 120,000 liters from this field is pretty good. Uh, I will take that any day of the year, any harvest of the season. All right, well, hey, harvest is done. And uh, things are looking good. We got a little 4x4 truck here. So you know we're going to send it. Alright, well, I thought I'd check out the campground here one more time just see how she'd be doing and uh well, it's, it's nice up here i like it it's i don't know uh, some nice views and uh it just feels nice and cozy I'm not gonna lie should do all right well i'm not gonna get that gate opened up we're just gonna pop on out of here like a champ and you know time to close up the gates because we don't want nobody going in there if they can't. Or they shouldn't be. You know what I mean? The barn, too. What's up, bud? Yeah. Hop out. Close the gate. No. Close the gate. Or I will chainsaw you. Oh, where'd I go? There we are. And close the gate. Wonderful. Where'd it go? There we are. That's why I feel like I'm playing small child. I think you're going, guy. That's right. I'm going first. Because I'm faster and more likely to hurt myself. Therefore, I should be ahead of you in case I need help in an emergency. Right? Yeah, that's right. You too, son. Okay, well, looking good. We got a harvest done. The last harvest of well, I mean, there, there's more harvests to come this season, but the last harvest that we're going to be taking care of ourselves. Ooh, Nelly. We're going to pop down here. Down our nice little wonderful bridge that we've made ourselves. Oh, yeah. Looking good. And, well, we've made it back to the ranch just like that. Onto our nice little field here. Past the corn and the river. The sketchy, sketchy river bank. Thankfully, we've not fallen in, but with the way I drive... I'm surprised I haven't. I'm not going to lie. Randy Long Shadow is back. Looking good. All right. You know what? 
we are going to go, uh, we're going to go check something out really quick, you know what I mean? We got to. Um, we, we spent almost ten million dollars, and, uh, you guys haven't seen the final results, so you know we got to go do that, right? Alright, let's back this up here. Looking good. Oh, baby. Goodbye, truck. Oh, yeah. Nice. Like a glove. Alright. You know? You know? You know what? We gonna to do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of mowing. Because why the heck not? We want the place to look nice and tidy. And look how handsome we are on this thing. How can you not? Alright, it's uh it's 5.30 now. And uh, we got a little bit of time until the sun starts looking real purdy. So we are gonna get this done to the best of our abilities. We have not driven this one yet. We we used to have an Amazon model, but I mean, we all know those ones are Amazon basics. You know, they do the job, but I mean, they're not the real thing. They're not the real deal. You know, sometimes they're I, right, but you know, we'll get her done here. Well, that was something. Um, I like the result, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. Nothing really wrong with it. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Ah, uh, and you know what? Yeah, the yard, it looks real nice right now. Ooh, doggy. And you may have noticed, there's a helicopter. Like I said, I might have wanted to buy one, and I did, and I got a ton of money, and it cost $750,000, but I bought a helicopter, so you know what? <laughs> we're going to use it. You know we're going to use it, you know? Uh, well, we, we've been up in it once before. Not this one. This one's brand new, but uh, exact same model. And uh, the helicopter guy hooked us up with his uh, his connection and uh, not even a connection. It's just a guy that he buys helicopters from uh, the company. And uh, well, we got our hands on one ourselves. Boom! Look at that yard. Ah, uh, like that's a completely different yard than. Uh, when we first got a hold of the property, you know what I mean? Like, it looks fantastic. It really does. Just doing a big circle once over. Looking good, cornfields. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna head over to our clear cut there and uh, see what we do see, see what the view's looking like. I can see the hunting culprit from here already. Not the, the fire watch tower, rather. It's my bad. Look at that big H on the ground. You know that's for the helicopter. Making our way over. Oh, you can see them appearing in the distance now. An absolute wind farm. Some of them may be a little bit low, but really, the, the wind just kind of sweeps through this valley. And uh, now that all the trees are gone, it's looking fantastic. Like, wow, wow. The transformation on this place is insane as well. Like, this used to be just a bunch of burnt down trees. Even there's no grass on the ground, nothing. And now it's, uh, well, 
<laughs> it's a money maker. It makes us uh, upwards of $150,000 a month from uh, how much energy in excess it produces. So, you know, really, we might have paid 10, 15 million dollars for that whole project, but it will pay for itself in some time. <laughs> I was gonna do the math mentally, but I can't. I cannot. How we do it oh man wonderful and just the pond here that's been here from the start that's just beautiful i think the only thing left to do is a before and after montage of course of drone shots you know we're gonna go through and find some old photos and footage and stuff like that and just compare them to what what it's looking like right now today on the ranch so uh yeah no let's i'm looking forward to doing that you know what i'm saying all right, well, that's going to have to be it for this episode. The last episode on the ranch. Oh, my God. On Elk Mountain. Wow, it's been a journey, but uh, we're going to be heading off to Canada, packing our bags, and going home to the family farm, and I couldn't be more excited to uh, go check that out. So uh, it's going to be a good time. I've enjoyed all of our time here, and who knows? We might end up back on the ranch someday. Got to make sure we feed the dog here one more time. And, uh, well, well, of course, we'll be taking them with us. But, uh, yeah, way she, way she goes. So, hey, thank you so much for joining me. And, uh, you know, all of the growth, I, just all the love in general. You know, uh, we've come so far. You know, at the time of recording this, just hit about 600 subs. That's amazing. And, you know, when I started this, I had zero. So, 150 episodes, you know, over, what, uh, four or five months, something like that. I don't know, putting out an episode a day, and uh, you guys are loving it, I'm loving it, and it's been a great journey, and it's only the start, so stick around for more. Don't you be worried, it's not going to end here. This is this is turning over a new chapter, and, uh, well, we don't read that much, but, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. All right, well, I don't know what else left there is to say, but uh, enjoy enjoy the before and after and uh well we'll catch you in the next one all right stick around it's gonna be a good little montage all right i mean i don't know maybe we'll see how my my editing skills are <laughs>